<laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What? <laughs> What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. What's good? Steam Deck Mob. What's happening? The Steam Deck Squad. All right, look. I was reading two articles. One on f first. Um, I had an article. The first article I was looking at, it was on uh, Extreme Text, and um, they were talking about, uh, you know, PCIe uh, uh, 5.0 SSDs. They're not ready for prime time yet. They were at the CES uh, 2023 show, but they're not ready yet because they got to run some more tests, you know, before they can um, offer them to the public. So um, for those people, for all, for all you PC PC nerds, I was looking for uh, PCIe. Uh, Five five one uh, SSDs. Uh, uh, you got you um you got you got to wait a little bit. So they're they're not ready yet. But the uh, the bandwidth speed now is like seven gigabytes per second. It went it went from seven gigabytes up to fourteen fourteen gigabytes per uh I mean gigabytes per second. So um, a big big difference between seven and fourteen. So. Those SSDs are not ready to come out yet, but there's, they got to run some more tests on them. Make sure they make sure they uh, uh, that they work right. Um, that you know that they um, and uh, make sure the cooling that that uh, that they perform good, perform well on their like like you know like when the computers start to you know operate at like high frequencies. So they got some more uh, work to run on them SSDs, and then on top of that. Um, you know, um, like, like you don't, they don't have a, like a motherboard out that supports, uh, I mean, like they don't have like a motherboard out that supports, uh, PCIe, uh, uh, uh 5.0 SSDs yet. So they're still working on that. Plus, plus the, plus there's the, uh, the, the AMD, the Intel and the, the NVIDIA, NVIDIA factor when it comes to PCIe, uh, uh, uh 5.0, uh, uh, SSD. So. They still got some more tests to 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 run on it before they can finally uh, release it to the public, and then um, go and then you know goes on from there. But other than that, the tech industry is moving now. <laughs> now, as far as the Steam Deck goes, now um, you know framework. You know they're trying to um, they're offering a uh, two terabyte uh, SSDs upgrade. So you remember if you remember the um, the the tear down, the tear down video. When the first teardown video that Valve did, when they were when they opened the back of the Steam Deck, and they were showing the showing people showing the the viewers the inside of the Steam Deck, um, you know uh, some some um, you know some people can install those SSDs because they have the they have the patience and the know how how to do it, and others can. So uh, this is where framework comes in, and um, they're 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 offering. To, uh, Install the two terabyte SSD on the Steam Deck for people who don't know how to do it. Um, there are YouTube videos out there that can do it. I mean, I mean that can show you how to install the SSDs. But um, but if you don't, but if you don't have the patience to do it, then Framework can help you. Um, but for other people who have the hands-on experience and know how to uh, 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 exchange hard drives, even um, even doing it. Uh, the hot, hot, how was it? Hot swappable way. <laughs> hot swappable meaning that the comp the desktop computer is running. And you just swap the drive out <laughs> right in the middle of, while the desktop is doing its work. You swap the drive out. So people, some people, pe some people know how to do it, and others don't. But um, when it comes to like swapping drives, um, you know, uh, I mean, the hot swappable way. Some people know how to do it. Others don't. But to swap a hard drive the regular way, you know, plenty of people know how to do that. So when it comes to the Steam Deck now, they're used to it because they got the experience. So um, you know, you you can you can actually install the SSD by yourselves, or a framework can you know, can do it for you, you know, and go on from there. But other than that, um, the Steam Deck is doing pretty well right now. It's, you know, um, um, since 2023 started. I think it's coming up on its first year and the first year first year of completion. 
So yeah, um, so far so good, you know. Uh, uh, more updates are coming. Um, more, uh, <laughs> of course, games are coming. They're still sorting, and Valve is around the clock, you know, making sure that things operate. But other than that, man, um, um, Steam, the Steam Deck is in a good, good spot right now. You know, we're we're in the month of February, and today's the ninth. <laughs> so we got another ten more months, you know, and um, yeah, um, more updates will be coming out, uh, and more games, you know. We don't we don't know if we don't know if JSOC's gonna make a new uh, <laughs> a new docking station. Who <laughs> I'm waiting to see if they gonna do it, but you know, uh, but the one that's out right now, though, the official, plus the one that JSOC's have, you know, they're pretty good. Micron, uh, Micron's supposed to be coming out with a new uh, SD card. It's like 1.5 terabytes, and that will come in handy with a with a Steam Deck that has like a, if it, if it's the 64 gig model or if they got a 256 or the 512 or even they probably like took the put a one terabyte uh, storage of uh, SSD in their in their Steam Decks, then that 1.5 uh, terabyte SD card might come in handy. Or if you got the two, put a two terabyte SSD in the Steam Deck, then the 1.5 terabyte SD card still come in handy. So either way it goes, um, you guys will have enough storage, you know, when that SD card gets to the market. And um, <clears throat> then of course there's the, you know, the J socks with the docking station with the external SSD support. So you know, as far as storage is concerned, the Steam Deck is is pretty is doing pretty well. You know? There are plenty, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of games, plenty of updates. I think there's a video on, I think there's a video out on the System, System Shock remake, uh, um, a video, a demo of it running on the, on the, on the, on the web. You know, I'll try to leave that link in the description box. And, um, you know, Callisto Protocol now run, run pretty good on the Steam Deck, so, yeah. You got, I mean, you Steam Deck fans are covered, man, as far as, um, as far as games is concerned and updates, man. But as far as updates uh, goes, it's just it's a round the clock thing. So every day, you know, it's like you know some a new update might be every day or my or every week a new update might be out. So yeah, you know that little handheld is is doing its, it's doing its thing, man. It's it's an impressive machine for what it can do for what it's for what it's doing right now. So yeah. But other than that, man, you you peep, you Steam Deck fans are covered, and I will keep you guys posted on if I find anything new. But right now, Framework, they're offering you a two terabyte uh, SSD upgrade. You know, um, if you're interested, I'll leave the link in the description box. And you know, the f and for you PC gamers, you Linux gamers, the five uh, the PCIe 5.0 SSDs. They're not ready for prime time yet, <laughs> but when they are, I know you guys are gonna be looking forward to them when they come up. So yeah, you know, so um, uh, tech industry is moving. So you got you Linux gamers, Windows, uh, Steam Deck. You guys are good. Um, Microsoft is doing their thing. Game Pass is good, you know, Microsoft is doing their thing, um, plenty, they, they got games that are coming, so, and since Game Pass can run on the Steam Deck through the cloud, so, yeah, um, I don't think Starfield is coming out like the first, me personally, I don't think, uh, Starfield is gonna come out the first half of the year, I seriously doubt it, <laughs> I could be wrong, they probably drop it like, um, like, like in the fall, you know, right after Summerfest, you know, so, We'll see what they do, but that game is coming, so can't, um, you know, what's that? What's that? The new Final Fantasy expansion runs good on the Steam Deck, so yeah, you guys are covered, man. When it comes to um, when it comes to uh, gaming, man, <laughs> when they said we couldn't find a game, <laughs> the Steam Deck couldn't run. <laughs> that was a state. That was a statement within itself, and then to see that happening with your own eyes, man, that's Something impre impressive to watch, man. A handheld with Steam Deck. Doing doing the damage it's doing, man. Running the games like they were they were meant to be run for for a handheld device. 
hand, a, hand, a portable PC, you know. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. You guys are good, man. So, when, um, <clears throat> when more news come out on the Steam Deck, I'll let y'all know. But, uh, Framework offering 2 terabyte SSD upgrade. I'll leave that little article in the description box so you can look at it for yourself, you know. So, yeah. Uh, the, art, it's, it, the article is it's even on the verge, too, about this, you know. But, 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 but it's for those people who are, um, you know, who are not technically inclined about installing SSDs, you know, it's for them. But for people who know how to install a hard drive for, you know, I mean, this doesn't apply to them. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, those Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dark Sykes. Oh.